What is going on everybody? Welcome to your fourth C++ tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be covering something called CN. And CN is a special way that the user can interact with the program. So up to this point we just built programs that pretty much, you know, maybe they displayed some text on the screen, maybe they added a couple things together, maybe they had some variables, but there really wasn't any way for the user to interact with the program uh, send information in and you know it was really kind of a static boring program so in this tutorial we're gonna be changing all that so let's go ahead and first utilize some of the things that we learned already and let's go ahead and declare a variable and I'm just gonna name it age you can name it X if you want um, I'm just gonna name it age because I'm gonna build a program that ask the user how old they are and they're gonna enter a value and it's going to be stored in the variable age so let's go ahead and make a basic C out um, how old are you with question mark and then just go ahead and end that line so we already know what that does prints out how old are you on the screen now we need to have a way that the user can enter a number and whatever number they enter is going to be stored in the variable age and check this out probably the easiest thing you'll ever learn see out right here what this does is it displays information out to the screen but see in what this does is it allows the user to input information into the program so see out spits information out of the program see in lets you input information into the program pretty clever huh and another thing the uh, operator right here notice that it's two greater than signs instead of two less signs it kind of you can kind of see if you look at it like an arrow the way you're spitting information into the program so see in and make sure your arrows are facing right instead of left and then go ahead and type whatever variable you want to store that information in so what's gonna happen is this it's gonna say how old are you and on the next line there's gonna be a blinking cursor and this means the user is supposed to input information they're gonna type in a number like five or something and when they press enter that number is gonna be stored in the variable age so now age is equal to five in this case so now all we have to do is you know you don't have to do this but let's go ahead and write Bucky is make sure you spell that wrong and age years old with explanation point why the heck not so now let me go ahead and type this it's bugging me Bucky is age years old so let's go ahead compile and run this and see what we get how old are you so that's that first C out right there and now I'm gonna go ahead and enter 23 press enter and when I press enter that 23 is gonna be stored in age and now check this out Bucky is age which is now 23 years old now let's just go ahead and cancel out of that so that is a way you can use CN to have the user enter information into the program you don't always have to assign your variables something right when you create them you can uh, you know build in your program to have the user assign a value to them themselves and hold on I got an itch in my ear Oh, that was satisfying alright now let's go ahead and delete this and I'll give you guys one more example of how you can use CN to build a basic calculator not the funnest thing but you know it'll do for this tutorial so let's go ahead and declare three variables int a int b int sum so what this program is going to do is allow the user to enter two numbers a and b and then it's going to add them up for them and it's just gonna you know display your numbers are some I'll probably just print out some so anyways we won't give them a prompt you when you usually build a program you want to give them a prompt about what they need to do like enter two numbers but since I'm talking to you guys you know what's going on so let's go ahead and sin a so the first number they get to enter is gonna be stored in the variable a the second number they enter is going to be stored in the variable B and now that we have two numbers we can go ahead and take let me make sure that's all uh, lined up take that variable sum and assign it the value whatever they enter for a plus whatever they entered for B so we are allowing them to enter a and B and we are creating some ourselves by taking the sum of a and B 
and now that we have the sum we can just go ahead and print out c out we'll give them a little message the sum of yo numbers is nah that's pretty dumb I'll just go ahead and type that your numbers is and then just go ahead and put sum right there and might as well end line make everything nice and neat so let me check myself for errors and it looks pretty good execute compile and run this shiz right here and now we enter two numbers let's go ahead and enter 43 and let's give it some 567 the sum of your numbers is 610 what a beautiful program we have so what we did is we entered a we entered B and then behind the scenes we calculated the sum and stored it in the variable sum and it said the sum of your numbers is and then it printed out that variable sum which is 610 simple enough pretty dang sweet if you ask me so that is how you can use C in not only to input information in your program but also use it to uh you know actually that's pretty much the only thing you can use it for but uh yeah that's it so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to uh let's see what you guys can do buy my iphone apps check out my forum rate this video five do something cool that i'll be proud of you for so uh don't forget to check out the next video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later oh and by the way if you want any of this code i'll be posting it in the forum in the link below so if you want it go check it out it's free. See you guys later.